All right, let's talk about debatably the most uh, controversial quarterback prospect coming out of this draft class. I just finished my evaluation of Jaden Daniels, and I find him to be a very interesting player. Some people are saying he should be drafted number three overall. You might even find the occasional person saying even higher than that. Some people are saying shouldn't even be a first rounder. Why? What's the What's the deal? Well, let's get into it. Starting off with the play you see on the screen, you know, really look at that one-on-one -on -one matchup. It's just a pretty simple play, right? This kind of, uh, you know, goal line fade, which many people, it's almost become a thing that people hate, but I, I'm I'm still kind of a fan of these in the right circumstance. I mean, it's kind of a high reward, low risk play, get it high up in the air so it won't be intercepted, but, you know, obviously the re reward of a potential touchdown. So let's see how this works. Right off the bat, Daniels takes the snap, looks over, and like, yeah, this is a fine situation to, th you know, throw the ball. You're not going to get a ton of separation here. It's not really what you're doing here, but watch this throw. Daniels' throw is just going to be kind of, you know, he takes the chance and it doesn't really work out. And to be honest, Daniels will do this. Daniels will miss some throws and underthrow some balls in a really kind of, you know, odd way because you can see him make some really talented throws down the field for sure it's just very inconsistent like this one's another one where it's going to be a zone coverage play you see it's a go route on the outside and um it's it's zone coverage but the safety over the middle of the field depending on what he does it could be a one-on-one -on -one matchup on the outside Daniels takes the snap he looks over and a one-on-one -on -one matchup on the outside is what happens now this is a hard throw. I mean, he's standing at his own 40-yard line, and, you know, you're at a situation where you're at the hash marks on the bottom of the screen, throwing towards the top of the screen. But at the same time, this is also the throw that Daniels is choosing to make, right? So can he pull this off? Again, this throw is going to be not quite far enough, and, uh, well, still, receiver had a chance. It does kind of feel like a lot of times these throws are almost hoping for a pass interference penalty or hoping for a good catch by the receiver instead of, you know, it being a great throw down the field. Not to say that there aren't great throws down the field, just that there is some inconsistency. There's also some stuff like this that I see in the passing game that it just isn't great. Um, what's going to happen is it's man coverage, and what you see is there's, you know, uh, the receiver over the middle of the field. That's going to be the key route to watch. One-on-one -on -one matchup, that, you know, that usually can get open in these types of scenarios. Daniels takes the snap. He does look over, and right here, I mean, you know, it's open. This is the throw that he should make. This is a good opportunity to get the ball down the field. Uh, right after I press play again, he, the receiver's going to even signal, I'm open, throw me the ball. Daniels is looking in that direction. This is, you know, again, your first read is open. This should be the end of the play for Daniels. He either makes the throw or he doesn't. Instead, he goes to a different read, which admittedly was more open, but he also overthrows it. So not ideal. And again, uh, you know, I actually, I, I meant to have a clip where I show an example of him making some of these throws. He can make these throws as well. It's not like he's missing everything. Just there's, there's too much of this, in my opinion, on tape. This is a, a pretty big negative, I would say. So you might be wondering, well, okay, then is he even a worthwhile prospect? Well, despite everything I just said, yes, I do think he is a worthwhile prospect, even though I didn't actually come up with a single example of a good throw. Although, again, like I said, there are some, take my word for it. But then why would you want to draft him? Well, because of what else he can do. Let's go over to this uh, play. So what's going to happen here, I haven't even, uh, you know, show them what's on the screen because we're going to kind of go through it as we, uh, you know, as the play begins. So let's just let the play begin. Daniels is going to take the snap right here, but it's a designed run. And you see there's that running lane right there. That's where he's going to look. First, watch the acceleration to get through that gap. Really well done. And at this point, you see that there is a, you know, there, there's an Alabama player running over to make a tackle. So you're not expecting much from this point, but still a very good play from Daniels. However, it's not over yet. Watch him be able to kind of run through some of the contact, picks up even more yards. You see how they're not easy to bring down. That's a real aspect of his game is that he is someone who, despite the fact that I think, I think you would say he's definitely on the skinnier side at 6'4", 210 pounds, not an easy guy to bring down. However, I would also say that there are some times when he maybe gets a little bit too excited. So like this one, it's going to be, a, he's going to pretend as though he's handing the ball off, but then run towards the right side of the screen. That's the way this play is designed to work. Again, makes sense. You got a guy like Jaden Daniels. Don't just have him be a pocket passer. 
Watch as when this play begins, you see him get towards the outside, but number five for Florida State is in position to try and make a play. Okay, well, let's see what happens. As you see, he's able to, you know, Daniels is able to run by him pretty well. So again, he's so good at that. He's able to make guys miss. It's a real positive aspect of his game. Here's my only real critique with his running game is I just think he's too valuable in the running game to take some of these hits. Like you see, there's three Florida State guys ahead of you time to slide. Instead, he kind of just almost welcomes that hit. He almost just lowers his shoulder and tries to make a, a play. And like, listen, I love the love the energy, but I'm just a little worried he's going to get himself injured. And then all the good stuff that he does bring to the table won't be, you know, won't matter. This play is another interesting one where, again, I'm not going to uh, show what's on the screen until this play begins because the beginning part of this play isn't actually that important. Watch how when Daniels takes a bit of a low snap, uh, he looks down the field and he's, you know, one thing I would have to say to his credit, a lot of times you see some of these quarterbacks who are kind of the the mobile quarterback being like their kind of thing, they just look to run. That is not Daniels. And I would say that while he does make some weird reads at time, like the one I showed earlier, he will often still, you know, time routes well, get the ball down the field, that kind of stuff. Like he just inconsistent at that. He does a very good job of looking to throw first, but if the play doesn't work, he also isn't stupid. He knows that he is a good runner, and he's going to use that to his benefit. Watch as he scrambles outside the pocket, is able to get around the defensive lineman, and something right here is really good too, where you can kind of just see the edge of the Alabama player starting to enter frame, but look at Daniels, and look at how he's kind of faking as though he's going more towards the middle of the field. So then when he cuts back towards the sideline, he runs past that Alabama player and then steps out of bounds, does avoid to hit that time, so good job there. Again, the athleticism and his scrambling ability is a very real thing, and that matters, right? Like, we see players pretty consistently be good players because of their scrambling ability at the NFL level at this point. Like, you know, Justin Fields is, like, that's his main thing, right? And I don't know how good you would say he is, or I'm not sure if you're trying to draft a Justin Fields, but it's still a real positive. And, you know, even other guys, like, you know, if it can't be your only trait usually, but if it's a big, you know, part of what makes you good, that's not the worst thing in the world. A couple other quick points to run through as well. Daniels, you know, he's 23, which is not old, but older for a quarterback prospect, which... You know, th the reason why that matters is because, you know, if Drake May had two more seasons at the college level, how good would his 23-year-old uh, season look like, right? Like, that's usually how you uh, view that. Although, again, I do think Daniels has gotten better, you know, each year he's been in college. Uh, I do think that there's, you know, some some real arm talent there. I don't know if it's the most elite arm talent. Uh, and there isn't always a ton of zip, but you can throw it far. Like, there are there is some good stuff there. Um, you know, like I said, takes a lot of chances. Sometimes it works out. Sometimes it doesn't. Will underthrow uh, passes and, and takes too many uh, hits, as I mentioned. Uh, and the other thing I never mentioned was, we'll hold on to the ball for too long. So uh, while, yes, he can make it work with his scrambling, there are times when it goes the other way. And I think that sometimes it's not even like he's trying to make something happen in the running game. Sometimes it's just he's trying to make something happen in the passing game, but still holds on to the ball for too long. So what do we do with all that then? If that's how I view, view Daniels as a prospect, like, listen, everything I said is for the most part fixable, right? A lot of that mis uh, throw stuff is kind of more uh, communication sometimes and timing. So maybe if he's in a good situation, he could get that down and be really good. He does have a high ceiling as a player. I, I get it. Uh, I just don't know if I would, I, I definitely couldn't justify putting him above like Drake May or Caleb Williams. I just couldn't. I think that there's too many issues I have on tape, but I don't think he's a horrible prospect either. And given the right circumstance, I would draft him. But you know, the way I kind of view quarterbacks is if I think a quarterback has like a really good chance of being a starting quarterback, I'm usually saying they should be drafted before any other position. I'm not saying that with Daniels. I think there's if there you know, if there's an elite prospect at a different position, I'm fine with drafting that player over Daniels if that makes sense. Um, that's kind of how I view him as a prospect. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. What are your thoughts on Daniels? Always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.